But in all of this, there are so many ways that people have found to misuse or misunderstand the proper use of uh, the contraceptive technique. As an example, a few years ago there was a report uh, of teenage boys in Australia who would take candy bar wrappers and cut off one end and use them as a condom. Not recommended, of course. And so Crunchy and a couple of other brands which have in, we have in the museum. And I guess in North America it would be uh, Mr. Big. Another um, technique that was described to me was an obstetrician uh, in the United Kingdom. And he had a patient who believed that if she were to take thread, insert it through her nostril and out the back of her mouth, and then drawing it back and forth seven or nine times being the, quote, magic numbers, that she would be able to prevent pregnancy from taking place. He said he had delivered her of two children. Another anecdote that was uh, reported to me was Guy's Hospital in, in London, England, where a woman came in, she was already pregnant in the outpatient department, and what she was using as a diaphragm was the top of a teapot kettle, which I guess her misunderstanding of the blocking agent or instead of a diaphragm or cervical cap, she thought that this would be sufficient, and it certainly wasn't. Another instance um, was a teaching hospital in Toronto. This woman's method actually for the previous three years had been to take a fruit juice glass, not this one, and up to this point she had been inserting it in the vagina and it had apparently worked for her. Hopefully today enough doctors would know about the museum so that we could actually have the original retained and uh, on display.